Two weeks since the National Drug Authority gave a green light for use of Covidex as supportive treatment of COVID-19, a team of researchers behind a related herbal remedy dubbed Covilice-1 are to receive resources to conduct clinical trials. So the meeting of yesterday concluded that uh, Gul University, Dr. Lamwaka, be supported with the 3.7 billion Uganda shilling, uh, which will be given to her. And uh, that is now all that we are waiting for. So now we are, we are beginning to follow that money so that it gets, so that we finish the process of clinical trial and uh, we can make a better pronouncement as a university. Because this pronouncement was from the patient perspective. The development comes two days after the drug regulator barred Gould University from the production of Covilice 1. Reports indicate that the Wednesday meeting at State House attended by ND officials okayed production. Also agreed is for the university to proceed with the clinical trial, patent and register the drug under Dr. Ali Slamwaka, a senior lecturer and head of the researchers, and Gould University will get shares. The 3.7 billion shillings is directed towards clinical trials and the eventual production and marketing of the Covilice herbal remedy, which the researchers say is effective in the management of COVID-19. Uh, they have allowed uh, that uh, uh, for observatory tests, Dr. Lamwaka can be using Gul Regional Referral Hospital so that we can track uh, the effectiveness uh, of, 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 of our concoction, uh, the effectiveness of our herbal medicine. National Drug Authority is together with the university they are supporting the university. They are together with us in seeing that the right thing is being done so that the right thing gets to the public. From the onset of the epidemic, President Yorim Seveni has been emphatic on the need to build local capacity to produce vaccines and treatment for COVID-19 and other ailments. The frustration is made worse by what the World Health Organization termed vaccine apartheid as the West prioritized the doses for its own population. Uganda has in totality received 1.1 million doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine through the COVAX facility. 2.6% of the targeted population has received at least a single dose, while 0.01% have received the two jabs, this according to our world in data. Because this is a big shame on them. They need redemption. But this is the last, as far as Uganda is concerned, this is the, the last time we shall be in this type of situation. We shall develop our own capacity. Uh, and God also, God is also on the side of the unlucky. We may also get other solutions because we seem to be moving quite, quite well on the therapeutic. No treatment for the ever metamorphosing coronavirus has been approved anywhere. Jackson Onyango, NTV.